Ian, another tough one to take. That's the second time in two weeks that you've been defeated in the 90th minute. Yeah, it was a so one. I speak to the boys there. Uh, I thought the way we played tonight was a credit to them. They totally dominated the game. Uh, I've not got the stats yet, but I think it's probably the record amount of chances we've created mm. in terms of shots on goal. But again, you've got to take the chances when you're on top. And, and again, we now we shoot ourselves in the foot and leave the back door open in the last minute and lose now a goal, which was now hard to take for the boys. How tough is it to keep their spirits up when they're playing well, but they're still being defeated? They've got to. I, I just said to me, you've, you've got to regroup. That's what happens here. It's now, it's when you get a dunt here, it's how you react. And uh, I said to them, now, I want them back in Wednesday positive. We'll, we'll regroup Wednesday, we'll see who we are again. We'll have another game in a short space of time. So we'll get them in and we just need to go again. Now, if they want to be football players here, they have to take the wee knocks and recover. Were you frustrated that you didn't take some very clear-cut chances during the game? I wasn't frustrated, now, I, but again, now, I'm, on, I'm standing at the side. I think now you can see big Ryan Hardy and, and young Jordan Gibson now his first game back. Now, they're, they're frustrated because they, they missed chances and they feel as though they've let the team down. They, they never let anybody down the way they played, the way they mm-hmm. applied themselves. It's just now, these, when it's for you, it's for you. When it's not, you, know, you see now it's, it's against you. Now, we had uh, obviously double figures in terms of chances. So their keeper had... I think about four or five world class saves, but again, but now we're in these positions and we miss them. So again, on another day, hopefully now we can take them. It's the first time Jordan Gibson's played for a while. Were you impressed with his comeback? He's excellent. I think we've had to take our time now with his ankle and then obviously registration problems. But again, he shows what an asset he can be. He's a big, strong lad. Still got a lot of growth in him. But I was delighted for the other ones now. Young Mackay, come. He's just signed last mm-hmm. week. He's come in. Jordan Thompson, Dylan Diggs, Max Ashmore. Uh, big Ryan Hardy he's having a bit of a hard time just now but he's still getting chances and I'm sure now once he gets his confidence he'll be banging goals again but again it's just it's um, sound like a broken old record here but it's just it's mistakes that are costing us and, and they're costing us badly I was going to ask you about Mickey McLeod he made his debut today how impressed have you been with him in training and then tonight he's not had a game for two months so he's again now he's, he's come up for goals but he, he shows now he's got blister and pace and and he's a handful, I guess. We're just now trying to get him fit as we can just now, and obviously the game's coming up, so uh, we'll, we'll, you'll see a lot of him. He's, he'll, he'll get you on the edge of your seats in terms of now what he's said. He's absolutely electric, and he can score a goal as well, so hopefully now the, the way the game's come up, we can get him as, as fit as we can. Are you confident the first win of 2016 will come on Friday? Of course we are. If they keep playing like that and keep doing this thing to the principles and doing the proper things, they'll win more games than they'll lose, but again, that's a sore one tonight, but... Now, if, if you see the, the highlights again, now some are, are playing tonight was uh, outstanding.